Because ultimately, we don't know where the accident line is, where you fall over the edge of the cliff. And this little diagram shows that this is what you consider to be your safe behavior. If you consider, you know, sort of um, 70 miles an hour from the speeding bit. But this is what you consider to be safe. A normal life is you sort of stitch this line because that's where you think the risky bit is. And, and you step over it and you go, oh, no, I'll get back again. And you get to here. And then you get a bit further. But the problem is that once you get to here, you now reset this as your safe line. And you operate on here. The problem is that you still don't know where that is. But you've reset this. People are rubbish at spotting absolutes. We only look at little deltas. So we look at a little step, a little step, a little step, a little step. It goes bang and you go, how did you not spot that you'd gone from there to there? But in your mind, you only went from there to there, not from there to there. And that's the issue because do you cross that line when you make those changes? That's where teamwork again helps you to hold yourself accountable. But again, the communication, you need to be able to speak to your buddies and say, what are you doing? These are the rules, whatever the rules are, the framework that you're diving to. You've gone beyond that. Get back. This is how we do stuff around here. This is um, the pressures that you have as economic failure. This comes from a, um, a piece on um, patient safety. And the, the bits that it's too busy, the workload that happens in the, the health industry, and how much you can afford to spend. But there are lots of other pressures that push this towards where the failures are. And safety measures and campaigns, they keep on pushing it back into the safe area. High reliability organizations have tightly controlled setups. So you have standards. You have good, effective teamwork. You've got communication skills. And because you know what the shape of it is, say an expedition, you come up with some rules. You can operate close here to where the failure boundary is. You still don't know where it is, but you know how everybody's going to behave in a certain manner. If you have loose standards, you go over here, you go here. You don't actually know what to do. And that's where, again, debriefs and feedback help. Because if you end up getting close to this, and you end up with a safe, scary moment, don't look at what happened. Look at why did it make sense to behave in the manner you did, and then correct that. 